Today's moving day. Trying to make this as less stressful as we can. We got uh, most of the stuff packed up. We're waiting for friends to arrive. U-Haul's here. Let's go ahead and get started. Everything's all loaded up, ready to go. A couple of the guys helping me out already took off and started headed towards the property, so we're gonna catch up with them. See you there. Finally made it back to the property, and we're offloading the truck now. Fun, fun, fun. Location out here, What's Morristown. Up? We are here at the newly established agroforestry farm with Adam, and I am Lonnie from the Reed Farm. We know me. <laughs> we know me. <laughs> <laughs> Adam has been uh, extremely intricate in me the, uh, getting things done the last few months, and I am eternally grateful. So he needs some help moving to this new, absolutely gorgeous piece of property that he has purchased and the possibilities are endless so I'm sure a lot of things are swirling around in your mind absolutely about what you're gonna do here absolutely so we're, we're gonna each gonna post this YouTube video and he's gonna post it from his view and I'm gonna post it from my view yeah. <laughs> and we'll share each other's channels and all that good stuff so yeah what are you gonna do it takes a village guys does take a village. I'm gonna open up a nursery, that's for sure, and I'm definitely gonna have livestock. I wanna start with sustainable livestock. Um, vegetarians like uh, geese and rabbits and stuff like that, uh, easy things. I already got myself um, some keats, some guinea keats, and they're gonna help me take care of the insect issue I have here because the first couple times I was on this property, I realized that there were some ticks. I was pulling ticks off of me left and right. So in order to mitigate that, I got an army of 12 baby keith, or uh, guineas, sorry, to help take care of that. Um, they're babies right now. They are about three or four days old. So when they're a few weeks, I'll bring them out here into the field and um, into a coop and get them used to their coop. And then after a few weeks, about eight weeks in their coop, I'll let them out. That way they know the coop is home and they'll come back every night. Um, 
instead of just leaving because if you don't do that if they don't spend enough time in their coop they won't know where home is and they'll just they'll take off and you'll never see them again yeah we experienced that you have to get them when they're babies yeah or they just don't live here yeah. they will not live here so uh the house very nice house. house the plants this is just the beginning some very nice things over here you get all kinds of goodies we're a little bit north where we are in the land so he is going to be growing some different things got um, jamaican cherry jamaican cherry is going to live in a greenhouse got longin. a longin right here going to live in a greenhouse yep mango mango greenhouse, greenhouse. But, uh low quat <laughs> will do fine out here low quat will love it the figs will fig love will love it. it we got um we got sugar cane yeah banana guava Guava's going to need the green. Apple. Avocado. Yeah. Um, we got Everglades tomatoes. We got all kinds of stuff here. We got yucca. We got some um, spiral ginger. Yeah. All kinds of goodies. All kinds of goodies. My favorite hibiscus. Oh, Look yeah. at that flower. Beautiful. Beautiful. And it's thick. Blooming. So. All these ones too coming in soon. What I'm looking at and what I see in this property is so nice. Another mango. There's so much room here. You got a building there. You got a building there. And you got a building there. There's there's so many places to do things. Um, I like the fact that it's all an agroforestry farm. Nursery staging area right there. Definitely, definitely nice nursery staging. Yeah. As far as agroforestry goes. Future sheep. I, I see this area right here with the elevation drop. Putting some swales in right here, lines of trees that love the sun. We're gonna hide over there. We got some, we got a little grove of oaks. I'll hide some citrus in there. They'll do great. They'll love the mulch from the from the oak leaves, and they'll do well because um, they can't take direct Florida sunlight. So they'll be a lot better off in the shade of the trees over yeah, there. Yeah, that's a huge misconception about citrus that everybody does. They put them out in the full sun and they get torched and they get diseased and they can't figure out why. It's because they're not they're made to be there. That's not what they're designed to do. If you look around, if you walk around the woods and you see these big native orange trees loaded with fruit and they're in a deep, deep shade. Yep, they got, really they're think? in the sub canopy. They got trees above them shading them. Yeah, that's what they're, so they're supposed to be. Yeah. So yeah. if you wonder why the citrus industry in Florida is croaking, it would be because they're taking areas like this and loading it with citrus. That's not how it's supposed to yeah. be. Yeah, too much sun right here. Way too much. They need but the shade. Persimmons, peaches, plums, catly guavas. Mm-hmm. Those stone pears. fruit. Pears. Oh yeah, all the stone fruits. There's apricots. I just got an apricot tree that's gonna do well in our climate. Awesome. We'll get you some one of those grafted. Um, there's lots of different varieties of loquats. The Pelucci. Wait till we get the Pelucci up here. What's Pelucci? Pelucci loquat. Big loquat. Oh, it's of loquat. Oh no kidding! Yeah, That's here. huge! Yeah, monster. Oh, monster. I can't wait to try that. I got scions on the way. I'll be grafting awesome, that in the next awesome. couple of days. Uh, so, this is really exciting. It's, you know, there's not even irrigation here yet. Not yet. So, it's like, uh, this is the beginning. So, please follow Adam's channel. I'm sure I'll be up here installing things and we'll be doing lots of things together. Um, so, follow Agroforestry Farms. Like all the videos. Subscribe. This lunatic. Yeah. Over here <laughs> on this new venture. Boy, do you have your work cut out for you. I know. <laughs> Clean slate. There ain't nothing here, so we got a lot to do. But it's, you know, the last few months we've spent so much time in my place. I mean, what have I learned you, a lot, uh, man. We've done so many things yeah. together. Yeah, Trial we, by fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we ran irrigation in the field. We ran irrigation into his greenhouse. Uh, we learned several new ways to graft yeah. from the master, um, yeah, John, the Chipotle John, Caba. John Morton, yeah. John, John Morton. Morton hooked yeah. us up with a, a little grafting lesson. Yeah, yeah, master class. <laughs> so there's, uh, this is going to be exciting things. Uh, we'll make, well, I'll try and make a video every time I come out here because clearly this is going to be a really fun project. And for me, it's, it's super fun because I did my place, you know, started eight, eight and a half years ago, and I didn't know what I was doing. So... Now that I know what I know, to be able to apply that to a new property, yeah, I can be really effective. Yes. I've learned some yes. really, really great things from some of my my mentors, some people that have shown me some really great things. Jay Reynolds, I got to introduce you to Jay. He's, a, he's the master. Um, he grows so much food, it's ridiculous. Awesome. So, 
Um, I'm gonna put all that into effect. I don't have to learn the hard way because he already did. Yeah, five, <laughs> five, six year jump. Yeah. Which is really nice. So, this is, uh, I believe this is a classic example of you put in the time, you put in the work, and you get rewarded. Yeah. The universe sure. smiles. Yeah. All right, we're gonna head back to Orlando. We got a two and a half hour drive. But, this is a uh, fun time. I would not have been able to do this as quickly and efficiently as as this went down without my friends. And I can't thank you guys enough, honestly. Yeah, Alan came out. Alan from uh, Azalea Acres Poultry Farm. Azalea Acres, yeah. Big shout out to you, Alan. Where Love are you, he? bro? He's Where still, is he? He's floating around here somewhere. Probably yeah, he's still working. That dude's a beast. Moving something Such heavy. <laughs> yeah, moving something heavy. He is moving something heavy. <laughs> Uh, so, um, yeah, if you need chickens, Azalea Acres, check them out. Oh, absolutely. Oh, my gosh. Pasture-raised chickens, you guys. If you're local here in Florida, look them up. That's the best the source best. of chicken right there. The tend, most tender meat. We, mm -hmm. Almost every other weekend, we're mm -hmm. grilling chickens. He taught me how to, uh, pro what's the word, process? Yeah, he taught me how to process chickens. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, get to it, man. You got a big job ahead of you, bro. Yeah, I do. Thank you, guys. Like, subscribe, and share. Everybody, yeah. later.